Hey there, this is Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. Today we are here at the Palm Beach Boat Show and you'll see behind me, this is the Bertram 28, which is a brand new center console debuting at the show. So we're gonna take a quick look at the boat and uh, get your comments and feedback below. Okay, so this is the port side of the Bertram 28. What you're gonna see is this particular one has the brand new Mercury Verado 300 horsepower engines. The base boat uh, comes with 250s, but it does have an option for 300s. And uh, you're gonna see that this boat, they call it a 28. So it's a 28 foot uh, boat at the water line, but its length overall is actually 30 feet for the hull. So you get quite a bit of value here in the boat. This does have a hard top that's on it. And uh, looking at the transom here, with these new uh, Verados, they uh, have a unique way of raise, rising up, so you get plenty of room to walk around the aft area of the boat. You can see you got integrated rod holders there. On the starboard side, you do have a uh, door that opens up. You get a live well here on the port quarter. And then also you have a uh, walkthrough door here on the port side. So that opens up. We're gonna show you what that looks like on the interior. Take a look at the uh, hard top here. It's a molded hard top. You do have your outriggers there that are controlled from below there. So this boat is uh, kind of a base uh, design and layout. Just got here from the factory. These are available for delivery starting in the uh, July timeframe. So we're taking orders here at the show and uh, we'll be able to get uh, sea trials scheduled pretty quickly. So you see up in the bow, you get a nice flared out design, nice forward facing seating there, and then a uh, nice forward seat there as well. So back here in the main helm area, you got two very nice uh, bolstered seats. You'll see these seats have uh, beautiful stitching on them. Also, they have handrails that fold down and then that bolster design so you can stand and lean against them. This boat has the standard uh, Garmin displays in it, as well as your standard Mercury control. You can order these with a joystick option if you want. All right, one feature that stands out to me is this door is super easy to walk through. So regardless of the dock conditions, you're able to easily walk through there. In the transom here, we have a fold down uh, rumble seat. So you see one action that the seat nicely folds there or can stow away when you're out fishing. So a really nice design there. Forward of that, you're gonna see we have our uh, wet bar area here. So this one is just set up really basic right now uh, from the factory. So we got a cutting board and then that hide, hides away to a sink there. If you wanted to put a grill or any other options, all of those things are available. We can also build that up with a tackle. You'll notice that you, this one has a Yeti cooler on it and a nice slide out there. So for easy access to the cooler when you need it, and then it easily slides uh, back and hides away. So one action that slides. Uh, center line in the uh, aft area, we do have plenty of storage here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. So down here, we've got a mechanical space and then plenty of storage underneath this hatch here. Okay, and then on the starboard and port side, we've got two additional storage lockers for your rods and other stuff. If you do want these as lockable uh, hatches, we can do that for you. On both uh, port and starboard, you're gonna notice that you have, you have uh, freshwater wash down available. All of the cleats on this, they are the nice retractable design, so they pop in, pop out really easily, but great functionality there. So we're gonna move forward, take a closer look at the helm. And again, this one just came from the factory, still building out, and this is uh, the basic setup. <laughs> but again, if you do want joystick and other options, you can do that. So you got your Garmin multifunction displays there. You've got your uh, Mercury engine display, VHF overhead. And again, some really, really nice seats here. Your engine switches are conveniently underneath the helm on the port side. And then you do have quick access to the batteries. So you can check on those as needed. Okay, so as we walk forward on the starboard side, we got plenty of room here. Notice these handrails. So if you are in some weather, you can hold on to that. This boat is available with a Seakeeper gyro stabilization if you want. So that's an option for you. We have two boats lined up for Denison Yachting coming in in uh, July and August currently. So if you want to place those on orders, that can be done here. 
Up in the helm here, a few things you're gonna notice is these have, instead of having the latches underneath, you have really nice kind of push buttons to uh, hold down. So under all three of these seats here, you've got ample storage. You also have additional storage, center line up front. So you see center line up front there, you've got storage. That can be used as an ice box if you want it. Here at the bow, you've got a compartment that has access to your uh, anchor and chain, as well as your windlass. And you'll note you've got a remote button there on the port side. Again, you have another freshwater wash down here. So a really nice use of this space to give you a good functionality. And again, there's a view of those pop up and down cleats. Okay, here we're gonna take a look at the hard top. Really nice, rigid hard top. And if you wanna put radar or any other options on, we can do all that. Price-wise, these are gonna go from about $250,000, $260,000 for your base boat that's rigged out all the way up to uh, 300,000. Now a really great feature is this head. So this isn't some little porta potty, this is a full electric head down here. You got plenty of space, you've got access to your electronics panel there just on the, that bulkhead and then note you've got a sink with a window for ventilation and then uh, some storage there. You'll notice a nice uh, woodwork here on this and then this whole door is held open with a nice uh, gasketed strut there so really really great design and uh, for a 28 foot boat to have a head with this much size and capacity and also to have a window and a sink and drawers and storage really nice and then we'll look at this uh, windshield here nice uh, glass windshield very easy to clean and then again nice robust hard top note when i'm here on the side of the hard top uh, it does flare out, so even standing on the side of the boat, if it's raining or anything like that, you can be fully protected. We can get eyes and glass if you want to enclose to this entire area. And then over here, you have uh, port side storage, and we have JL audio. The last thing that I want to show you here is the uh, port side uh, door. So this door, again, kind of a diving door. And what you'll notice here is I can pull this around, easily lock off this, this hatch. Okay, so showing you the door latched there into position. And then that folds over. So you note here with that door shut, you do have an additional rod holder there. And then here you've got a raw water wash down. So on the port side, you have your raw water wash down. Starboard side, you've got your fresh water wash down. And then up front, you do have fresh water wash down for the anchor. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this, uh, this door here. And you'll note how easily that stows away into the compartment there. Okay, really, really nice option. Center console. On behalf of myself, Tony Smith, and the rest of the team at Denison Yachting, thanks for checking out the brand new Bertram 28 center console. This boat is available to be ordered, and we've got two of them that can be de delivered this summer. For additional information, please email me at ts at denisonyachting.com. Also, feel free to text me at 404-805-9819. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below, and be on the lookout for additional videos 